What are we gonna be doing today? Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys a really easy way to make a cool paperweight that's custom, that has text and your name or whatever. Super simple design, so let's hop right into it. Okay, everyone, so um, here we are in Onshape. Um, quick, quick, quick tutorial. Um, super easy, so let's start off with making a sketch on the top plane and with a center point rectangle. So the default is corner rectangle and you just have to hit the arrow center point center origin click and drag out and for the purpose of just making a video um you determine this depending on how big you're gonna make it and all that stuff i'm just gonna make it um i guess i'll make it three and a half inches uh, in length or width and then two here or not two um i'll just make it one um and then i'm just gonna extrude it uh one inch is good check that off make a chamfer right here and then if you want it to be like how i just showed you it i will have a picture of that on the screen here um you can have to make that the same amount you extruded it so make it one inch and there you go um you have the little plate and to add the text all you have to do is make a sketch on the face uh text click and drag out and i'll make it say nj printing just for the uh, video and choose your font whatever um and yeah click, click check i remember that this was about three inches three and a half um so i'll just make this three um and then to center it i'm just gonna make a construction uh, line right down the center that's why you want to center on your origin escape line from here to here escape and then construction point um, right on the middle of the text and then just click that tool right there and you will be able or actually this one because this one connects a line with a point so I'm connecting the construction line to a point and it connects there and then all you need to do is just um, bring that down and if you want to get it even more centered just make a point right on the center and then connect it using that and that there you go then you can always you know go back into the dimension tool make the text bigger however you want 3.25 whatever you'd like extrude i'll remove it recommended but however you'd like it um if you like two color print you can uh, extrude it and stop the print in the middle um point Zero five is a nice removal there and there you go um that's the super easy way um yeah you can always add little designs uh like little lines on it like just by making a sketch and then drawing uh, that's what we like about on shape is how you can draw so you can just draw like a cool little groove here random lines and you end it where you want to end it and then so look at that you can just cut like a little mountain type groove out of that and you can just draw lines and all that so super cool um a lot of people um should make these that you know they make you look really professional and all that so recommend it um and yeah okay everybody so i really do hope that you enjoyed this uh, quick video tutorial um Share in the comments below if you made one of these or something like it uh, for like a desk or whatever. Um, and they're really cool. They make you look professional. Um, and yeah, so again, if you want a paperweight, like I recommend doing a higher end fill. You know, make it heavier. But whatever you want, depending on what you're going to use it for. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment if you made a project just like it. Thank you so much for watching, everyone.